Helicobacter pylori is a type of bacteria that lives in the stomach lining and can cause various gastrointestinal issues. While many people carry this bacteria without any symptoms, it can lead to problems such as gastritis, ulcers, and even stomach cancer in some cases. One of the ways that people can manage their Helicobacter pylori infection is by making changes to their diet. Certain foods may aggravate symptoms and make the infection worse. In this video, we will show you 10 foods to avoid with Helicobacter pylori. Before we continue with the list, make sure to subscribe to Healthy Lab and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of our new videos. Every subscriber is much appreciated. So, let's start. 10. Soy Sauce Soy sauce is a common condiment that is used in many dishes around the world. It is made by fermenting soybeans with salt and other ingredients, giving it its characteristic salty and savory taste. One of the main reasons why soy sauce is bad for people with Helicobacter pylori is because it contains high levels of sodium. Sodium can irritate the stomach lining and promote the growth of Helicobacter pylori, making the infection worse. Additionally, soy sauce contains amino acids that can also promote the growth of bacteria, further exacerbating the infection. Furthermore, soy sauce can also damage the stomach lining by increasing the production of stomach acid. This can lead to heartburn, acid reflux, and other digestive issues. For people with Helicobacter pylori, this can be particularly problematic as it can worsen the symptoms of the infection and increase the risk of complications. 9. French Fries French fries are a popular snack that many people enjoy. It's hard to resist the crispy, salty goodness of a well-made batch of fries. However, if you have Helicobacter pylori, you may want to think twice before indulging in this treat. One of the reasons French fries are bad for those with Helicobacter pylori is their high fat content. French fries are typically fried in oil, which can be difficult for your body to digest. This can lead to indigestion and discomfort, which can exacerbate the symptoms of Helicobacter pylori. Additionally, the high fat content in French fries can cause the stomach to produce more acid, which can further irritate the stomach lining. Another reason French fries can be problematic for those with Helicobacter pylori is their high salt content. Salt is a known irritant to the stomach lining, and consuming too much salt can exacerbate the symptoms of Helicobacter pylori. French fries are often heavily salted, which can make them a particularly bad choice for those with this condition. 8. Tomatoes Tomatoes are considered to be one of the healthiest foods in the world. They are rich in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that provide a wide range of health benefits, but if you have Helicobacter pylori, eating tomatoes could be a bad idea. Tomatoes are acidic and can irritate the lining of the stomach and exacerbate the symptoms. Tomatoes also contain a compound called lycopene, which has been shown to have anti-cancer properties. However, for individuals with Helicobacter pylori infection, lycopene may actually promote the growth of the bacteria, as it has been shown to stimulate the production of urease, an enzyme that helps Helicobacter pylori to survive in the acidic environment of the stomach. Additionally, the high levels of vitamin C and other antioxidants in tomatoes can stimulate the production of stomach acid, which can further aggravate symptoms. 7. Black Pepper Black pepper is one of the most commonly used spices in the world. It is known for its distinctive flavor and aroma, and it is used in many different types of cuisine. Black pepper contains a compound called piperine, which has a negative effect on those with Helicobacter pylori. Studies have found that piperine can increase the growth of Helicobacter pylori in the stomach, leading to further inflammation and damage to the stomach lining. This can worsen symptoms and increase the risk of developing more serious complications such as ulcers or even stomach cancer. In addition, black pepper can also reduce the effectiveness of the medication used to treat Helicobacter pylori. 6. Chocolate One of the key factors that can exacerbate the symptoms of Helicobacter pylori is the consumption of certain foods, including chocolate. Chocolate contains a substance called theobromine, which can stimulate the production of stomach acid and increase the risk of acid reflux. This can further irritate the lining of the stomach and exacerbate the symptoms of Helicobacter pylori. Additionally, chocolate also contains high levels of fat, which can slow down digestion and cause food to remain in the stomach for longer periods. This can increase the production of gastric acid, exacerbating the symptoms of Helicobacter pylori. Chocolate also contains polyphenols, which can bind to antibiotics and reduce their absorption in the body. This can make the antibiotics less effective in treating the infection. 5. Coffee One question that often arises for those with Helicobacter pylori is whether drinking coffee is safe. It is important to note that coffee is an acidic drink. 
This means that it can irritate the lining of the stomach, particularly if it is consumed on an empty stomach. For those with Helicobacter pylori, this can be particularly problematic as the bacteria can already cause inflammation in the stomach lining. Coffee contains caffeine, which is a stimulant that can increase the production of stomach acid. This can be problematic for those with Helicobacter pylori, as the bacteria can already disrupt the balance of stomach acid, leading to excessive acid production. Drinking coffee can worsen this imbalance, leading to symptoms such as acid reflux, heartburn, and stomach ulcers. Studies have found that coffee consumption can increase the risk of Helicobacter pylori infection. This is particularly true for those who consume large amounts of coffee or who drink it regularly. The reason is that the acidic nature of coffee may make it easier for the bacteria to colonize the stomach lining. 4. Soda. Soda is a popular beverage that is consumed by millions of people around the world. While it is a tasty and refreshing drink, soda is known to have several negative effects on our bodies, especially if you have Helicobacter pylori. Drinking soda can contribute to the overgrowth of Helicobacter pylori in the digestive system. This is because soda is highly acidic and can cause an imbalance in the pH levels of the gut. When the pH levels are imbalanced, it creates a favorable environment for the bacteria to thrive and grow. Additionally, soda consumption can also weaken the immune system. This makes it easier for Helicobacter pylori to take hold and cause problems in the digestive system. When the immune system is weakened, the body is less able to fight off infections and other health problems. 3. Processed meat. The reason why processed meat is bad for Helicobacter pylori is that it contains nitrites and nitrates. These are chemicals that are added to processed meats to give them their characteristic color, flavor, and texture. However, when you consume nitrites and nitrates, they can react with the stomach acid to form nitrosamines. Nitrosamines are known to be carcinogenic, which means they can cause cancer. They can also damage the lining of the stomach, making it easier for Helicobacter pylori to penetrate and cause infection. In fact, studies have shown that people who consume a lot of processed meat are at a higher risk of developing stomach cancer, especially if they are infected with Helicobacter pylori. But it's not just the processing of meat that can lead to Helicobacter pylori infection. Cooking methods can also play a role. Foods that are grilled or smoked at high temperatures can produce compounds that are known to increase the risk of stomach cancer, which is often associated with Helicobacter pylori infection. 2. Lemon. Lemons are often considered a healthy food choice due to their high vitamin C content and antioxidant properties. However, for people with Helicobacter pylori eating lemons may not be the best idea. The main reason why eating lemon is bad for Helicobacter pylori is that lemons contain a compound called limonene. While limonene has been shown to have anti-cancer properties, it can also irritate the stomach lining and worsen symptoms of Helicobacter pylori. Some studies have found that limonene can increase the growth of Helicobacter pylori in the stomach, making the infection worse. The study, which was conducted on mice, found that the consumption of lemons increased the levels of urease, an enzyme that is produced by Helicobacter pylori. Urease allows the bacteria to survive in the acidic environment of the stomach by neutralizing stomach acid. 1. Alcohol. Alcohol consumption is a common activity among adults worldwide, but it is not always safe for our health. Many studies have shown that alcohol can have several negative effects on the body, including on the gut microbiome. Studies have shown that alcohol can increase the growth of Helicobacter pylori in the stomach. This is because alcohol can damage the protective lining of the stomach, making it easier for Helicobacter pylori to attach and colonize the stomach lining. Alcohol can also interfere with the normal functioning of the immune system, which can make it harder for the body to fight off infections caused by Helicobacter pylori. In addition, alcohol consumption can also worsen the symptoms of Helicobacter pylori-related conditions. For example, drinking alcohol can cause inflammation in the stomach lining, which can exacerbate symptoms of gastritis and peptic ulcers. This can lead to abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, and other uncomfortable symptoms. In some cases, alcohol consumption can also increase the risk of bleeding in the stomach, which can be life-threatening. In conclusion, Helicobacter pylori is a common bacteria that affects about half of the world's population, but many may never experience any symptoms. However, for those who do, the consequences can be serious and can lead to various health problems. By avoiding certain foods and incorporating others, individuals may be able to alleviate symptoms and prevent further complications. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.